Hi, I'm Trish Rigg. I'm from Portland School, and I am the head of the history department as well as curriculum coordinator for the entire school. We're really right here, not too far from the Suffolk border. I am somebody who uh, didn't really understand how helpful it would be to be able to see with my own eyes what somebody else is doing in their class. Hi, how are you? When Simon came, this was a huge initiative that he had brought with him. I am the head of school here at Portledge School. The value for mapping, from, from my perspective, is that it is a collaborative process in and of itself. Yeah. I'll include what you stated in your email. The beautiful thing about Atlas, and my experience with it now over the past 10 years or so, is that it's, it's also an opportunity for people to talk about how they teach, what activities are they going to use, uh, why are essential questions important, and it gives you that flexibility uh, to fit the mapping process into your strategic thinking at large. We're very purpose-driven as educators, as teachers. I will be resistant to doing most things I'm asked unless I can identify the purpose. When you have an independent school that has three different divisions, and when the kids come to the middle school, and the sixth grade teachers are like, well, how come they don't know how to write a five paragraph essay? And the fourth grade teacher and the fifth grade teacher are like, well, we did that. I think this gives validation. The teacher can look back and say, here, we did this. Whether or not they retain it, that's a totally different separate conversation. But I really do think it will give that validation to the teachers, that they can sit there and look back at their breadth of work and say, I did do this, and I, and I, I think I did it well. There are just things that I think we need to do better, because there is a group of students that's entering the school in ninth grade that they have a set of skills where I'm not seeing that in the kids that have been up here. It doesn't mean they don't get them. It's those kinds of conversations, I think, that are generative and lead to a teacher perhaps going back to the classroom and thinking about those conversations and how they may inform their instruction. We spent the entire time, the 40 minute period that I was up there for, just analyzing that one paragraph and drawing connections to the things because they're in eighth grade, they were doing manifest destiny, they were doing all these different things. Because to me the importance of curriculum mapping is around student learning. The outcome needs to be, again, not in and of itself that we have this wonderful map that'll sit on a shelf, but we want a living, breathing document that that is going to impact um, instructional practice. And to that end, I think the mapping dialogue is essential. It provides that structured conversation, that framework around which um, uh, great things can happen. She found it so helpful just to be able to have a dialogue and talk about essential yeah. questions. Just to yeah. even do so once we were able to show people that you can, you know, put two different courses up side by side and see what they're doing calendar wise, right there, there's a conversation that you can have. Yeah, I hear more about, I noticed you were doing this in your course. I'm doing this. Do you think we could collaborate? When teachers are talking about teaching and they're talking about how do we organize teaching and how do we think about our plan and what does our lesson look like and how do we shape up a unit and what does a year look like after that's evolved, I think you inevitably start to get those creative juices flowing. And I think building a culture of understanding around curriculum design and development and mapping is a lengthy process. So I do believe that while that's never complete, I don't think that dialogue's ever over, I think that we've made great strides in terms of um, developing a culture of understanding around why this work is very important, and that's brought with it its own sort of collaborative opportunity. I am much more thoughtful and reflectful in planning. It's the reflection. Maybe that'll be a little bit next year where we're reflecting yeah. more on how you taught it. So this gives me a tool to really sort of slow down and think, why am I doing this? The research is pretty clear around curricular development is going to enhance student learning. So why not give it a try and see if in fact you, you notice that happening in your own classroom. So the mapping process, if done properly, ultimately results in an enhanced uh, level of student learning and that's why you need to do it.